welcome to vlogmas day two it's the s no, day three vlogmas day three it's the second of december um i've already opened the second door of my advent calendar mulled cider tea as you can see it is attempting to snow i mean hopefully you can see that very very light it's not going to settle it's I mean, it's barely an effort um but yeah we, we have an attempt at snow so today's uh square on the temperature cross stitch when I get to it will have some sparkle thread in it. Um, so yeah, I've got a few boring bits to do this morning, um, a few admin calls, uh, ordering a food shop, neither of us drive so uh, we tend to get delivery for the big shops, um, and then getting up the rest of the decorations. So uh, that's that. I mean I, I do need to film a November makes video at some point this week, uh, whether that'll be today or tomorrow I don't know. Um, I probably won't be doing any other regularly scheduled programming in December with the daily vlogs going up but I um, thought it might be a good idea to do the November make since I'm video um, rather than doing a November December joint one in January although that is a possibility um, I've also got some fabric that needs cutting out in the next uh, few days oh bigger ch bigger chunks of, of attempted snow hmm. um, so at some point this week there might be some fabric cutting out and uh, yeah I very, very much doubt this is going to settle, but if it does, I will let you know. sorted. I need to put some batteries in the uh, star because that lights up. Um, but yeah, that that's done. Um, I am missing my flock reindeer that I normally put under the tree. So we must have another bag of decoration somewhere. I'm also missing a few. Well, a, a string of lights that we normally put on the door. I don't know if we're doing those this year though with the tree in front of it. Um, and some wicker stars up in the hall. So we must have another bag somewhere but uh, we'll look at that later. The cat is obviously not part of the Christmas decorations uh, but she will sit under the tree. And on the fireplace we've got my little crochet nativity scene uh, with the baby Jesus not in the manger yet because he's not being born yet. Uh, so that's that um, and over that I've got my cross stitch centre and then Above the sofa we've got my uh, Christmas fabric thing. So on the door to the cupboard we've got my knitted wreath and a hanger. I need to do something about my sewing space in the corner. See my batteries have arrived now. Um, th this table is going to be used for Christmas dinner so at some point in the next couple of weeks I need to uh, rehome pretty much everything that's there. And I've got some fabrics waiting to be turned into projects there so I say I've got some cutting out to do. The one at the bottom is the uh, the newest one, that one. And so there's not that's at the bottom of the, the list of priorities and I need to find a pattern for it. It's a soft shell, fleece lined soft shell, so I'm gonna probably do like a bomber jacket or something out of it. And um, so yeah, so that's the living room. And the hall has bunting down the banister for the stockings, lights on the coat rack, and a wreath over my keys. I have put some stuff on the front door as well, I'll show you that another time. And the kitchen. This goes up in the kitchen every year. And uh, a little Nordic swing. And then I normally put some stuff in the window. And this year, my pepper plants have been decorated with bits that I rescued from uh, last year's wreath. So yeah, and as you can see, the sun has now come out and the attempt at snowing has stopped. So as I predicted, it has not settled. Um, it didn't get any heavier either. It just went for a little bit and then stopped. Um, so yeah, so I don't have a wreath for the door this year. I have in the past put the knitted one on the door. Um, but it's quite light and we get quite a lot of wind up here. Last year I had one that came with the tree, the real tree that we had last year. Um, that was quite heavy, so that was good. But we don't have a wreath this year. So I've put some of the ornaments that came on the wreath on the knocker, so it's got a, a bow and some pine cones on it. So um, when I go out for a walk or something later in the week, then I will uh, show you that. Um, 
but I'm going to call it a day for decorating today until we find the other bits and bobs um, and I'm, I'll do the tidying up another point as well. But, uh, I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the day is my other half's brother has requested a hat out of the leftover yarn from uh, the sweater that I just finished knitting for the other half so that shouldn't take too long um, and he's going away for a few days going back to see his parents um, for a few days pre-Christmas because he's working Christmas Eve so he can't get back for Christmas so um, yes yeah, so I might make a start on that and uh, see if I can get it done before he goes away if not it'll be ready when he gets back okay. oh and I might make a cup of tea Malt cider from the advent calendar. I have tried the malt cider before. I've got some um, loose leaf malt cider tea, and it's, it is quite nice. It's it's another fruit tea. Um, so yesterday's was a fruit tea. Today's was a fruit tea. So uh, obviously they don't take milk. Um, I generally drink more tea that takes milk. To be fair, but these fruit ones are quite nice with the uh, Christmassy flavours. And I do like some fruit teas. I just don't drink them as much as uh, tea with milk. Okay, so yeah, a cup of tea. So the hat has started. Um, we have a brim. I'm going to do a, a double brim. So I need to do twice the depth of every being and then fold it over and knit it together. Help keep the ears warm. But annoyingly, Christmas tree lights have stopped working. So I have to take them off and send them back and replace them with the old ones because they just won't stay on. Even with new batteries. So um, that's annoying. But that's tomorrow's job. 